McClatchy Newspapers reports that scientists are saying lower levels of oxygen in the Earth's oceans, particularly off the United States Pacific Northwest coast, could be another sign of fundamental changes linked to global climate change. They warned that the ocean's complex undersea ecosystems and fragile food chains could be disrupted. In some spots off Washington State and Oregon, the almost complete absence of oxygen has left piles of Dungeness crab carcasses littering the ocean floor, killed off 25-year-old sea stars, crippled colonies of sea anemones, and produced mats of potentially noxious bacteria that thrive in such conditions. Areas of hypoxia or low oxygen have long existed in the deep ocean. These areas, in the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans, appear to be spreading, however, covering more square miles, creeping toward the surface, and in some places, such as the Pacific Northwest, encroaching on the continental shelf within sight of the coastline. In some spots, such as off the South Southern Californian coast, oxygen levels have dropped roughly 20 percent over the past 25 years. Elsewhere, scientists say, oxygen levels might have declined by one-third over 50 years. Jack Barth, an oceanography professor at Oregon State University, said, quote, The real surprise is how this has become the new norm. We are seeing it year after year. Barth and others say the changes are consistent with current climate change models. Commonly, ocean dead zones have been linked to agricultural runoff and other pollution coming down major rivers such as the Mississippi or the Columbia. However, scientists now say that some of these areas, including those off the northwest, apparently are linked to broader changes in ocean oxygen levels.